just hi everyone this is Emily welcome back to my channel I feel much more comfortable with the camera now so today we're gonna be talking about my favorites for the month of July I hope you enjoy let's get straight right into it my first favorite is this Levi's denim jacket that I got for five dollars from a garage sale I've worn this so many times if you follow me on my Instagram because I post a lot of my outfits in the stories there so I think this is one of the best things I have ever found from a garage sale because regularly they retail for $90 to $100 and this one I got for 5 bucks, which is amazing I love wearing this jacket for when I'm feeling like I want an edge to my outfit, but I don't want to wear a leather jacket because I don't have an oversized leather jacket yet. That's one of the few things I'm looking for. So then I wear this. And then if it gets cold, so I wear my packable down jacket underneath. So then I stay warm even though it's 10 degrees because it's always just cold here in Canada. The next favorite for this month are is a collective term. So white tops. like. This is one that I got from Maritzia, another one from Maritzia, and I just posted a video of how to style white tops. My tops mostly come from Maritzia because I love this store so much. Rest in peace, my bank account. So anyway, I just love wearing white tops in the summer because they make me look so tan and they're so easy to wear. Like You can pair them with anything and everything and you would always look put together. And you always look so put together, especially when you pair it with gold jewelry, like this one. Yeah, and I have gold jewelry. I wear, I only wear gold jewelry because silver ones just doesn't look good on me. My next favorite is something I've always wanted but never bought. Well, no, I lied. I actually have one, but it's a different style. So I just got the Arizona Birkenstocks. I used to have the one with just the one strap. I don't know what it's called, but I got it from a lady who went to Germany and it doesn't, it's a story. It's a story in itself, like how I got those Birkenstocks for $5, but yeah. So I got these ones. These are way more expensive than my other ones, but I like these better because they like hold my foot in pretty well and they pair with any outfit. As you can see, I love white, I love neutrals black top, white shoes, white sneakers. The next favorite would have to be my Sam Edelman loafers. I've wanted those Gucci ones so bad. I was looking up I was looking at them in Essence, like the Canadian luxury site, but I couldn't justify a price tag, so I got these ones instead. They're a pretty good dupe. They're like real leather and they're pretty comfy. I would probably never get the Gucci ones anymore because this gives me the satisfaction that I wanted from a Gucci and they look pretty cute. They're still a bit expensive though. I'm saying, I'm not saying they're cheap because they're around $175, so almost $200 with the taxes. But sometimes you can find them on Amazon and they sell it for lesser than you can find it from the Bay or some other department store here in Canada. So that'll be a good option for you guys. My next favorite would have to be the TLC Frambu's Glycolic Night Serum from Drunk Elephant. Whenever you put it at night, the next day, your skin would feel so good. It would feel so soft and smooth. Like, I don't know how it does it. Apparently the Sukari one, baby sukari fish sukari baby facial is way better than this one but they don't sell that in canada because apparently it's illegal so i'm selling for this one and if you're gonna buy one thing from drunk elephant it would be this thing it works so well <sighs> go buy it it's amazing just 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 do it word of caution though the first time you use it it's gonna tingle and burn and if you have tiny cuts on your face, like if you scratch your face or anything, this would hurt a lot. This would sting. Yeah. But the more you use it, the more your skin gets used to it and it will get better. My next favorite would have to be my iPad Pro. 
I was very hesitant in getting one because I thought I wasn't going to use it. But now, I feel like it's the perfect thing. The thing about notebooks is, I usually buy notebooks but I never use them or I never fill them out or I'm just too lazy to do it. But writing down notes in an iPad is so easy and so convenient. Plus, because I'm a web designer developer, whenever like I have to do something, I can take a picture of it and then put annotations on the parts where I need corrections or if some people have given feedback about what I created and then I could easily make the changes which is so convenient it's the best thing ever if you're thinking of getting yourself an iPad just go for it it's gonna be worth every single penny the last thing that's in my favorites right now is this book by Jack Canfield titled The Success Principles How to Get from Where You Are to where you want to be. This book just talks about how positive thinking affects your reality and negative self-talk would only attract negative things into your life. I've started reading this book because I commute from my house to work and it takes me an hour to get there and I always find that that, that one hour of my life would be wasted if I just spent it on my mobile phone and not learn anything. To be more productive and more positive I feel like how our generation was raised, especially in the Asian culture, everyone always so critical. It's so easy to overlook successes and so easy to say something about negative things. That's why I started my YouTube channel because of this book because I've always wanted to start a YouTube channel. And I know it's never going to be perfect the first try, but I should just do it because that's what I want to do. I love to talk to people. I love telling people what I think and I love sharing my ideas to people. So here I am today because of this book. I recommend you reading this if you're at a crossroads in your life. If you think you're stuck, I don't know, it doesn't even matter what stage of life you are in. This book is just amazing. Thank you for watching my July favorites. I hope you like, comment, and subscribe. I usually upload once a week, every Monday. I'm gonna try. That's gonna be the challenge for me, but I know I can make it if I put 110% effort into it. Bye, see you soon for the next video.